Hello and welcome to the San Siro here in Milan. Home to both AC Milan and Internazionale and the venue for the 2016 Champions League final. And here we have Nigeria against Tunisia. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Thanks for that Peter and may I say a big hello to everyone. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Spreads it wide. Defence has got rid of that. Looks to dink one in, cuts it out. Well, neither team has yet managed to impose any authority and uh, as a consequence, this game's just drifted. Passes it through, now here's the through ball. And he's there to hoof it away. Ball. Who's going to get there? Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Tries a through ball. Hurtles into the tackle. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Deftly done. Oh, good interception. That's a foul, free kick's been given. Looks like a good ball through. And the defence can get it clear. Dink's one in. Goalkeeper's ball. over to the other flank there is the half-time whistle any strong opinions on the first half well the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now they need some service up front so they head in no further forward the score here still nil nil yeah that does look a foul referee's given a free kick only by poor finishing mm, probably not his best option I think goalkeepers are are normally happy for players to have a, a go from there looks to slip it through now can he finish Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. <laughs> Referee has seen that as a dive. Well, that's just very cynical. For him to think he could get away with it is, uh, is ugly on his part. Now the pass. That intervention was very necessary. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, they would seem to have made the right choice to, to dampen the creative spark here. Tried to play it through. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off.
on the right. Now, what's on? Plays a clever pass. And out to safety. He'll have a dip! He scored! Well, if ever there was a perfect time to score, I think we just witnessed it. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Nigeria draw first blood here. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. So, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Done very well to intervene. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Seems now to be all about wit. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Played out to the wing. Header! They've scored! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Nigeria have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. The referee's awarded a free kick. Defending was strong and firm. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And there goes the final whistle. 